Sports Entertainment Schmig. Brought to you by Plaza Motors. Uh, we're not going to talk about that actor that you've seen on social media that lied about being, being in the uh, World Trade Center. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do that around 7, 10 this morning. Um, it's a great story. I mean, if you haven't heard it, if you have, I it's mean. It's very interesting, but there's a lot to it. Audio. And mm-hmm. we've got to get to the more important things like the winner of America's Got Talent. America has voted. The winner of the $1 million and the star of the headline show in Las Vegas is... Paul Zernan! Not Paul Zernan! I have no idea. I don't know. No, what, is, what does he do? I, I he's, the, ven, he's the ventriloquist. No. Well, now that one, Terry Fader, yeah. has made a ton of money at, at his residency in Las Vegas. Still has it. Mm-hmm. Like, he is... One of the key what do you shows. think he's thinking? Hey, this guy's coming for me. I know, me. right? I know. Ven- ventriloquism, ladies and gentlemen. You spend, uh, you know, like six months on that show. <laughs> oh, and then oh. a ventriloquist wins and it. And I don't think a lot of people know guys' ventriloquism talents. Go yeah. ahead. Are you ready? Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> it works great on radio. I don't know what you're talking about, Courtney. Hey, now, uh, stop that, uh, Junior. Okay, I'll stop it when you stop it. I've already stopped it. So have I. Wow. I I know. It's unbelievable. How are you not in Vegas? Did you hear a breath in there? No. Yes. No. Oh, you did? I heard like 10. <laughs> I'm working on that. And then the hand movement was... <laughs> was I touching you? <laughs> One can only wish. Speaking of Las Vegas... Yeah, what about... <laughs> hey, let Courtney... Finish here, Junior. There's a new, there's a new singer headed to Las Vegas, uh, starting a residency in April. Lionel Richie. Oh yeah. I think that. Wait a minute. Be... Is it Lionel or Lionel? I, know, I say it like that because the way Vince Vaughn said it in the movie The Breakup. Oh right, Lionel, Lionel Richie. Um, yeah, he'll be starting in April. Hello. I, I think that'd be a great. <laughs> you get it? Uh, that's right. that song, and you know, has been has come up yeah. a lot this week. It's it weird. All right, so it's in the DQ commercial. By the way, the girl that says she's a fan of, of all things uh, tchotchke or whatever, mm-hmm. she's cute. I don't know what you're talking right, about. Uh, Dane Cook. The first time I saw Dane Cook, I had no idea who he was, and he was on SNL oh, as yeah. the host. I'm like, who is this guy? I've <laughs> Un- never funny se- comedian. <laughs> no, on SNL, I he remember was good. he was good, mm-hmm. and then. He never did anything funny again. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't understand it, but there's a rumor that the two worst people have maybe gotten together. Miley Cyrus and Dane Cook are supposedly hooking up. Really? He's denying it, but I guess earlier this year, remember when uh, Patrick Schwarzenegger was on that spring break trip hooking up with somebody? Dane Cook sent her a message that said, don't you ever let someone treat you like a yellow starburst. You are a pink starburst. I think that's offensive to yellow starburst. I'm just saying. I'm not a fan of the yellow. I don't, I'm not, I, pink I, is my favorite. Yeah. I go for the red. And I, don't I do like, like the, the red. yellow. I do not like the red. And the pink? No. Sorry. No, the pink is good. No, I'm sorry. The, you know, the lime one always gets, you know, lime. The green. <laughs> There's, There's there no, is green. no green. Okay, well, I, I, I'm eating the wrong candy then. <laughs> Orange is good. I, I don't know. There's no green one. I thought there was a green one in every candy. <laughs> no, thank no? God. Starburst no. knew better. <laughs> 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 All right, Kate Gosselin. You know, she's been dating a millionaire since the beginning of the year. Uh, Jeff Prescott, he dumped her for a 26-year-old girl from, is it Belarus? 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 What? Belarus? Belarus, that's it. <laughs> Belarus? I thought it was on a planet? What are you talking about? She speaks She speaks five languages, probably English, better than me. Right. Um, yeah, and she's apparently heartbroken over this. She thought he was the one. All right, now getting on to celebrities. I think she's going to go out and buy the Rosetta Stone series today. <laughs> okay, celebrities describe the color of Donald Trump's hair. Ellen Page, Brian Cranston, Cranston Sarah Silverman, Elle Fanning. Here's a clip of what they think. Of his hair. Corn. Corn. Cornstalk yellow. Yellow. Cornflake yellow. Tuscan surprise. <laughs> Buttery silver brass. Something breezy and whispery. Yeah. <sighs> Perfection. Golden egg. That's two words, but golden egg, I think with like a hyphen. Golden egg hair. Dirty gold. It's like rose gold, isn't it? Uh, 
Um, it's a magical thing. I guess we would just say magic. That's funny. Tuscan Who said Tuscan surprise? surprise? There's Silverman. Oh, that is it. very funny. And speaking of Donald Trump, is Tom Brady endorsing Donald Trump? He has a hat in his locker that says, Make America Great Again. And reporters asked him about it. And he said, yeah, it's a nice keepsake. And it could be a great piece of memorabilia. He sent it to me. And then they asked him, would he make a good president? And he said, yeah, I think it, it would be great. They would be putting a putting green on the White House lawn. I'm sure of that. Deflate the balls, inflate the ego. Uh, Kevin and Robert De Niro, so similar. Oh, I know what you're talking about. His new film, The Intern. Yeah, by the way, that movie's been made just like two years ago called The Internship. With oh, Vince Vaughn yeah. and Owen Wilson. It's the same kind of thing. No, it's not. De Niro's 70. Yeah, I know. But, you know, it's like going into the younger generation. He right, works right. at a fashion magazine, a fashion website. And I guess Anne Hathaway in an interview called him out for not being with it and said he still has a flip phone. His response, <laughs> they're easy to use. <laughs> Kevin finally yeah. huh? got rid of the flip cause, phone. Because mine broke. I had no choice. All right, that's Entertainment Schmig, another Schmig at 840 on Y98.